Hello and welcome to Nana's Crafty Home. My name is Tanya. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to complete the Midnight Madness Poncho that you can find as a free pattern on my website. Uh, the size uh, as written in my pattern is for a small, medium, large. So this poncho that I made and that I will also be showing today will fit a range of sizes. It's very forgiving. Um, it's very drapey. It lays really nicely. I also include instructions on my website on how to resize it uh, to a larger size if you are interested in doing that. I used the Lion Brand Shawl in a Ball uh, Metallic and I will be um, the original one here that you can see is in the Moonstone color and uh, for the tutorial I am going to be using Prism which is another one of my favorites you can see here all the purples and greens um, almost like a peacock color um, some bright blues teal in there uh, you certainly could use the regular shawl in a ball. You wouldn't have to get the kind with the metallic, um, but I really like that shiny detail. It really uh, blings it up a little bit. Um, certainly something that you could throw over a little black dress and take to a fancy event. So um, for the small, medium, large size, uh, I use two complete um, shawl in a ball. And if you are interested in doing a larger size, you will need three to complete that. You will also need a size J crochet hook or a 6.0 millimeter crochet hook. And that is really all you need to, uh, to get started here. So this is a fun pattern. Um, it's very repetitive. It's a two row repeat. Um, so it's a nice pattern to just uh, veg out with. Um, it is a block, blocked V-stitch is what I call it. Um, basically it's a V-stitch uh, with an interrupted um, row in between the V-stitch which then blocks it off. So there's these um, rows of chain threes where you're working your uh, V-stitches v into uh, which gives it this really nice drape and a nice really nice appearance so fun poncho easy pattern so to get started on this pattern we're going to chain 72 we're also going to be joining uh, to the beginning to make a circle and I'm going to show you a little trick because we don't want to um, bring this down just a hair we don't want to twist that beginning chain for our beginning of the poncho. So I'm going to show you a little bit of a trick here. So just chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And in order to help you not twist that beginning chain, go ahead and insert your hook to the first chain that you made here. then go ahead and pick up that loop and now you're going to work your chains the rest of your chains with this beginning chain sitting on your hook and you can chain however many you need to chain and I'll show you how to complete this so we've done 10 so continue on to 72 11 12 71 and 72. So I've completed 72 chains as I am directed to in this pattern and um, what we're going to do after we've completed that last chain is you're just going to pull your loop through that loop that's sitting on your hook. Now we haven't twisted our chain and we are ready to go. How easy is that? And you can use that technique for any time you need to um, chain and then join to make a circle. Um, you could chain up to a thousand and you know you're not gonna twist that beginning chain. So it's a great little technique for you. To start out, uh, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And here and throughout this pattern, that chain four at the beginning of our V-stitch rounds is going to count as our first double crochet plus a chain one. So when we come around and we slip stitch into the top of this, we're going to be slip stitching in the top of the chain three because that chain one is separate. 
that the top of that uh, chain three would be considered like a double crochet. Go ahead and do a double crochet into that same chain, chain one, and we're going to skip the next three chains, one, two, and three, and we're gonna do a V-stitch in that next chain. So that's a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet in the same chain space, which makes a V-stitch. So that's my first V-stitch that I've made, a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Then again, chain one, skip three chains, one, two, and three, V-stitch in the next chain. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And we're going to repeat that uh, V-stitch chain one, skip three, two more times. So chain one, skip three, one, two, and three, V-stitch in the next. Chain one, skip three, one, two, and three, V-stitch in the next. Chain one, skip three, now we've done our uh, repetitions here, so now we're going to work our corner space. So skip three, one, two, and three, and we're gonna make our corner space. And our corner space is going to be a V-stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain two, one, two, and a V-stitch in the same chain space. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Okay, so that is where our corner um, for our poncho is. And we now come down the other side to our next corner space. So chain one, skip three chains, one, two, and three, V-stitch in the next chain space. Chain one, skip three, one, two, and three, V-stitch in the next. All right, so now we're going to repeat that. Uh, we're gonna want a total of eight these stitches between corners. So we're going to repeat that uh, for um, six more times. Okay, just so we have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we're at our corner, next corner space. Chain one, skip three, one, two, and three. And we're going to do work our corner space, which is a V-stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain two, and a V-stitch in the same chain space, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Chain one, skip three, one, two, and three. So V-stitch in the next, Chain one, skip three, one, two, and three, V-stitch in the next. Chain one, skip three, one, two, and three, V-stitch in the next.
chain one and we should have just three make sure I've kind of twisted this all around as I've been working it so we should just have three chains left which we do one two and three and I'm going to work a uh, slip stitch remember to the top of that chain three leaving that chain one space so here's that beginning row so here's my corner stitch I want to make sure that I have the same amount of v-stitches on this side as I do over on this side and no matter which size you're making you're going to want the same amount of v-stitches over here as you do over here uh, the same amount in between these corner spaces so let's count here's my corner space there's one two three four five six seven and eight and over here there's my corner space over here one two three four five six seven and eight so I am good to go for my first row is completed so for row two I'm gonna go ahead and single crochet in that chain one space so single crochet chain three one two and three and single crochet in the same space single crochet in the next chain one space then in that chain one space between my V stitches there I'm going to single crochet chain three and single crochet in the same space that next chain one space between the V stitches single crochet the V stitch chain one space is a single crochet chain three and a single crochet between the V stitches that chain one I'm going to do a single crochet in there and in that V stitch that chain one is going to be single crochet chain three and single crochet that chain one space between single crochet between the V stitches single crochet chain three single crochet single crochet in that next chain one space between the V stitches now when we get to this corner space in this chain one space I'm going to do a single crochet chain three single crochet in that chain two corner I'm going to work a single crochet chain three single crochet in that next chain one space between the v-stitch single crochet chain three single crochet and now I'm back to the sides in between the v-stitches that chain one work a single crochet the chain one between the v-stitch there single crochet chain three single crochet in the same space in the chain one between the v-stitches single crochet that chain one the next one single crochet chain three single crochet so for every row on the sides between the corners you're going to single crochet in the chain one space between two different V stitches then when you get to the middle of a V stitch you will single crochet chain three and single crochet chain one between single crochet and do that all the way till we get to the corner here I've gotten to my corner space we're going to work in that first V stitch single crochet chain three single crochet in the chain two corner space single crochet chain three single crochet in the next V stitch work a single crochet chain three single crochet 
the next chain one space between the two V stitches, single crochet, in between those two double crochets there of the V stitch, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, and repeat that till we get to the end, single crochet. And we're at the end here. And what we're going to want to do is there's that last chain one space between the two V stitches. You're going to work a single crochet in that last chain one space. And then you're going to slip stitch into that first chain three space from the beginning of the row. And now we can go ahead and work our V stitch row. And these last two rounds are going to be what you repeat throughout your pattern. So chain four, one, two, three, and four, and double crochet in that same chain three space, chain one. Work a V-stitch in that next chain three space, and chain one. V-stitch, chain one, V-stitch in the next chain three space, chain one, V-stitch in the next chain three space. And you'll do that till we get to the corner. Okay, so we're in this corner space area in that first chain three space, V stitch, chain one. Now in that corner space, chain three, work a V stitch, chain two, and a V stitch in the same chain three space. Chain one, V-stitch in the next chain three space. So that is our corner space and that's what you'll do every time. So in that corner chain three space you're going to work a V-stitch, chain two, and a V-stitch in the same chain three space here. And you'll do that in every corner, both corners going around. Going down the sides, you'll work a chain one, V-stitch in each chain three space as you go around. We're in that corner space area, chain three here, we're gonna do a V-stitch. Chain one, in that chain three that's in my corner space, I'm going to work a V-stitch, chain two, and a V-stitch. Chain one, in the next chain three space, work a V-stitch. And that's the next corner space for that round. If you have trouble remembering or um, catching it on the way around or recognizing it, another thing that you could do um, is you could move a stitch marker up. So um, if you uh, have trouble going through and remembering which one, just go ahead and move up stitch markers. Put your stitch marker in that corner space and when you come back around, you won't forget what that is. You'll remember it. So chain one, V-stitch in the next. Sometimes when we get going, it's easy to lose track of where we are and we just crochet along and before we know it, we've missed our corner space for four rows and this is not the easiest yarn to uh, to rip out, <laughs> as I've realized to my detriment <laughs> on a few occasions. <laughs> 
Um, so when we get to the end of that round, we do our final V stitch in that last chain three space, do a chain one, and go ahead and slip stitch to the top of that chain three. Okay, so that is uh, round three. The last two rounds that we've done are our repeat. So you're going to simply repeat that round over and over again until you have it to the desired size. Um, you could try it on at this point, um, see how it feels up at the neck. Do you want it a little bit uh, bigger? Um, you could then resize it. But again, I think this pattern is extremely forgiving. Um, at the bare minimum, it would fit the small, medium, large, um, but um, always good to check. You don't want to make the whole thing and then realize, oh my, it doesn't work for me. So just go ahead now and we're going to repeat rounds two and three to the size desired. So for round two, remember we single crochet in that first chain one space, chain three, and single crochet in the same space, single crochet in that chain one space between V stitches, the next V-stitch, we work a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in between, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next, and you repeat this all the way down till we get to the corner. So we're back to the corner. In that V stitch, work a single crochet, chain three, and single crochet. In the corner space, work a single crochet, chain three, and single crochet. And again, if you need to, if you would like to, go ahead and put a uh, stitch marker in there. That way you know this is your corner space uh, when you come around again. So in between that V-stitch, work a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet, chain three, and single crochet in between that V-stitch. In between the two V-stitches, single crochet, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, and continue that on down. We're in our corner space here. Go ahead and work your single crochet, chain three, and single crochet in that corner space. Go ahead and move your stitch marker up and put it in that chain three space. And then continue on with that same repeat. Single crochet, chain three, and single crochet, single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, single crochet in the next. and repeat that till we get to the end. So for your next V-stitch round, go ahead and chain four, one, two, three, and four, double crochet in that same chain three space, chain one, V-stitch in the next chain three space, and continue on till you get to your corner space. And you're gonna repeat those, um, these last two rows for the rest of your poncho. So go ahead and continue on uh, to the size that you wish. And so there you have it, my Midnight Madness Poncho that you can find as a free pattern on my website. So just head on over to nanascraftyhome.com to get your free written pattern. Uh, you can also purchase the ad-free version of the pattern on Ravelry or Craftsy both, and I do have links to both of those on my website as well. 
As always, if you have any questions about my patterns, please feel free to reach out to me, uh, send me an email on my Facebook page is a great way to get in touch with me as well. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Uh, you can find me at Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, and I am always happy to touch base with you guys. So uh, reach out if you need anything. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.